Simple problem 5.9 says, an organic chemist isolates a colorless liquid from a petroleum sample. She places the liquid in a pre-weighed flask and puts the flask in boiling water, causing the liquid to vaporize and fill the flask with gas. She closes the flask and reweighs it. She obtains the following data. So here we have the volume of the flask, the volume of the flask, uh, the mass of the flask plus the gas, uh, the mass of the flask, the temperature, pressure. So we have all of these things, and, and nothing's changing here. So since this is a gas-related problem, obviously we're going to be using our equation PV equals nRT, which I'll go ahead and write up here. Now this is asking for molar mass, and very similar to the last problem, I want you to remember that the number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass, right? So, by knowing that, we can plug that into our P V equals NRT equation, and so I'm going to have mass of the sample divided by the molar mass times RT. So now I can rearrange to solve for this guy that they're interested in, right? This molar mass here. So molar mass is then going to equal the mass of the sample times RT divided by PV, which we know all of these things, right? So let's see, the mass of the, of the sample or the mass of the gas that we're interested in here um, is going to be the difference between the mass of the flask and then the mass of the flask with the gas in it, right? So let's see, we're going to have 78.416 minus 77.8. 834, and I got 0.582 grams for the mass. R is a constant, remember, 0 0.0826, let me get some more room to write here, um, liters times atmospheres divided by moles times Kelvin, all right, times the temperature. Now, this tells us that the temperature is 100 degrees C, and remember, we have to put that in Kelvin, so that's going to be 373 Kelvin, right? Three, uh, 273 plus the degree C uh, converts things into Kelvin temperature, divided by our pressure. Now, notice they gave our pressure in tor, right? They said 754 tor. And the units in the R constant are atmospheres, so if these things are going to cancel out correctly, I'm going to have to convert that tor into atmospheres. So let's do that really quick. I've got 754 tor. And remember our conversion factor. There's 760 tor in one atmosphere. Tor divided by tor is going to cancel. So let's see, 754 divided by 760. I got that's equal to 0 0.992 atmospheres. So let me put that down here, 0 0.992 atms. And now our volume, they say, is 213 milliliters. Note, again, the units for R have volume in the liters. So I've got to convert that 213 milliliters to liters. And so that's just going to be 0 0.213 liters. All right, so let's check our units and be sure things are going to cancel like we need them to, right? We're solving for molar mass, so the only units left should be grams per mole. So let's check it out. I've got liters in the top, liters in the bottom. That's going to cancel. Atmospheres in the top, atmospheres in the bottom. That's going to cancel. Now, in my units for R, I've got Kelvin in the bottom and Kelvin up top for uh, temperature, so those are going to cancel. And check it out. I'm left with grams in the top and moles in the bottom, so grams per mole. Okay, so those are my units. Now let me do some math. I've got 0 0.582 times R, which is 0 0.0826, times 373 Kelvin, divided by my pressure times my volume. And I got the molar mass of this guy is equal to 84 0.86 grams per mole.